Hi, I'm here to help you suit up your brand new tax suit. First, let's unbox the new B-Haptics tax suit and get ready. First, open the package. In the box, you can see manual, charging cable, audio accessories, and Bluetooth dongle. If you have all these items in the box, now it's time to wake up your tax suit. Let's plug charger into your tax suit. Successfully wake up the suit and get ready to experience haptic feedback. In order to wear your new suit, first loosen the side straps. You can adjust the fit of the suit by opening shoulder snap buttons and pulling down. Pull the side straps towards the front to tighten the size to enhance haptic feedback. Neatly arrange the remaining straps. Press the power button on the front or the back to power on. As your tax suit powers on, it will vibrate briefly and the LED indicator will blink blue, indicating that it is in Bluetooth pairing mode. You can adjust the haptic intensity by turning the front controller clockwise or counterclockwise. Double-clicking the wheel can pause the haptics. Extended straps can be added for a more relaxed fit. You can check your device status based on the different LED colors. You are now ready for the haptic experience. For MetaQuest users, go to the MetaQuest store, search and install BeHaptics Player. Pair your tax suit via Bluetooth in the MetaQuest settings. Devices, Bluetooth pairing. Pairing is successful if you can see the tax suit in the previously connected devices list. A blinking tax suit's power button will turn solid when you run a natively supported content, which indicates that the connection is complete. Open BeAptics Player on your headset and check the connection status before using the app. When running for the first time, allow all permissions to ensure smooth connection with your devices. Ping connected devices to verify the connection. Feedback intensity can be adjusted through the app or by simply turning the front controller on the suit. B Haptics Player is an essential software for natively supported content. Be careful not to uninstall to ensure smooth use. Natively supported content list can be found on the Experiences tab on B Haptics Player app. Or you can also find contents on Compatibility tab in the website. Explore amazing haptic experiences through various games. Once the connection is complete, you'll immediately receive feedback simply by playing any natively supported content. For certain contents, the B Haptics option must be turned on in the game settings to activate haptic feedback. Once the connection is complete, you'll immediately get feedback simply by playing any natively supported content. You can receive audio-based haptic feedback if the desired content is not supported. Your tax suit and headset can be connected via audio cable in which sound produced by the content can be converted into haptics. If the connection is complete, the controller turns into solid purple. Be careful not to get tangled with the connected wires. For PC users, Download BeHaptics Player for Windows from the BeHaptics website. Open BeHaptics Player and plug in the provided Bluetooth dongle to your PC. Right-click on the device icon displayed in the Quick Control Panel at the bottom left corner and select Pair to connect. You can check the complete list of natively supported games in the Experiences section. Browse the full list of these games and view its natively supported content in more detail. For mod-supported games, check and proceed accordingly to the guide provided. Choose and run a game and enjoy an immersive experience with haptic feedback. If you want to enjoy unsupported games, as well as videos, music, and other media with BeAptics devices, you can enable audio to haptic in the quick control panel on the left corner. 
There are default presets, such as pop and bass, from the drop-down menu. Each preset is called Profile. If you go to the Audio to Haptic Explore tab, you can explore shared profiles made from other players. You can select a profile that best suits your content for an optimized experience and add it to your mini player. If you find a profile you like, then select it and check out details such as frequency band setting, feedback point mapping, recommended content, user feedback. Try out the profile by clicking the play button. If you like the profile, click plus button to add the profile to your library or save it for later use. To connect with PSVR 2, you should search and install the Aptics Player. Once the app is installed, open the BHaptics Player and log into your account. If you don't have an account yet, sign up and then log in. If you're using the mobile app for the first time, then follow the quick start guide to get help with the setup. Turn on your suit to pair the device. The LED on each device should flash blue for scanning and pairing. Select the detected BHaptics device and tap the connect device button. You should agree to the Bluetooth connection for all BHaptics devices you want to connect. If the suit is not found, check if Bluetooth on your mobile is turned on. If there are no Bluetooth issues, check if the BHaptics device is turned on properly. The LED should be blinking blue for pairing. Test haptics feedback in dot and path modes for each device. Experience various haptic patterns on the library tab. Now, let's connect to PS console. To connect properly, you should ensure that the mobile device and the PS console are connected to the same router network. If everything is correct and there are no issues, tap the continue button to complete the connection. If the network connection fails, tap Settings and check your Wi-Fi information. Make sure Wi-Fi is on and verify the Wi-Fi name. When you're ready to connect, press the activated play button. The app will try to connect for up to three minutes once you tap the play button. If the connection with the supported game is successful, the button will turn green. Your suit will be vibrating if you are successfully connected. For iOS user, you should be careful not to close the app or turn the screen off, otherwise the app will stop running. Please keep the app screen on at all times for smooth experience. With the visualizer, you can monitor the haptic feedback in real time. You can use it when you're making gameplay video to provide more immersive and realistic experience. You can also change the color of the activated feedback point as your preference. If you only see Not Ready button on your app, please check if both Wi-Fi and device connections are complete. Turn on your BHaptics device. The LED on each device should flash blue for scanning and pairing. When a new device is detected, tap the Pair button to connect. Once connected, it will appear in the Connected menu. Ensure the mobile device and PS5 console are connected to the same router network. If the network connection fails, tap Settings, and check your Wi-Fi information. The network connecting your mobile device through the BeHaptics Player app and the PS5 console should be the same whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. When you're done playing, press and hold the power button on the front or the back controller. Plug and charge the tack suit for future use. When storing, either hang the tack suit to prevent wrinkles or place it neatly in the box. When storing in the original box, keep the box laid on a flat surface.